Nebraska's crops entered July with favorable condition ratings. Nebraska's National Agricultural Statistics Service lists 80% of the state's corn and 77% of its soybeans in good to excellent condition. As we mentioned in the previous episode of Market Journal, growers have noted the presence of grasshoppers. We recently talked with Nebraska Extension entomologist Bob Wright to learn when farmers need to scout and possibly treat for those insects. We've been seeing, getting reports all across eastern Nebraska the last couple of weeks that people are seeing small grasshoppers on field borders and in some cases also moving into, into crop fields now. And this is something to monitor for uh, before they get too big or start doing damage. Can you explain more about that time frame, when they're in borders and then how they decide to move into the field itself? Okay, the, the eggs are laid and survive in untilled areas, either uh, perennial crops like alfalfa or pasture or grassy borders and the, most of the common species that cause damage to crops hatch out in the spring. And when they're small, uh, they start feeding in the borders. And then as they get larger, or as the borders dry down, they start moving into the nice, lush, irrigated crop areas. What kind of damage do they do? The uh, grasshoppers cut holes in the leaves, and so they, they can do severe defoliation if they're abundant enough. Later in the summer, they can feed on uh, soybean pods or corn ears, but that's gonna t that'll be a while before we see that. But mainly it's feeding on the leaf tissue, and if it's abundant enough, they can cause uh, yield loss in, in, from defoliation. This is a pest that can be managed? Yes, and it's, it's a lot easier to manage them with insecticides while they're small. Once they get uh, half grown or larger, or certainly as the adult stage, they're a lot less sensitive to insecticides. So if you have high numbers, you want to treat, particularly if you can treat them in the field borders before they get in the crop and while they're small, that'll save you money later in the season. Do you have specific treatment options? Yeah, there's, there's multiple insecticides. The issue is you have to be sure to understand what site you're treating. There's some insecticides that are labeled for use on non-crop areas or, or perennial grasses, but are not labeled for particular crops, and maybe let's say corn or soybeans. Uh, so if you're just treating the, the field borders and not feed, feed, uh, spraying the crop, uh, you have one set of options. If you're spraying both the border and the crop, there's less uh, insecticides that are labeled for both sites. And so be sure that whatever insecticide you're using is labeled for the, the site you're spraying on. At a certain point, do they move on or can they affect the field throughout the season? When they become the adult stage, they can fly around and, and, and disperse uh, and whatever is the most lush field they'll go to. But they'll be immatures for a good month or more before they turn into adults. So be watching and, and make a plan for how to deal with them. Bob has an article on CropWatch about scouting and controlling grasshoppers. We'll link to that story on the Market Journal website if you're interested in learning more.